two of League One's European pretenders came together on Friday night as Saint-Étienne hosted Rennes. Liverpool top scorer Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang started on the left with Brandao in the centre. Rennes coach Frédéric Antonetti left Roman Alessandrini, who claimed two assists against Montpellier last week, on the bench. Lever have struggled somewhat at home this season with only seven points from a possible 15. Wren came into the game meanwhile on the back of three straight championship wins. The host started the brighter with Max Alan Gradel throwing this ball through to Obama Young in the 19th minute, forcing a good save from Benoit Costil. Wren defender Jean Amel Canabiek doing enough to put the Gabonese forward off. A minute later, Wren came forward themselves with Mevlet Erding. The ball fell nicely for Julien Ferry, whose shot was well tipped over by Stéphane Ruffier. Early warning signs at both ends. Into the 22nd minute and Gradel came forward down the right with Renaud Coad. Gradel appeared to have handled the ball, but nothing was given and he was able to fire across for Aubameyang. Two excellent touches and bang! Saint-Étienne 1-0. Aubameyang revealing his secret identity in celebration of his sixth goal of the campaign. The ball certainly coming off Gradel's elbow here, but nothing doing, and a superb finish from Aubameyang. Nevertheless, Wren continues to threaten and might have pulled level three minutes later. A long ball forward fell to Petwapa, but he fired straight at Ruffio. Another good save from the Fauna Monaco man. They're there one nil up at the break then, thanks to this man. Into the 49th minute and Saint-Étienne launched forward again. Brandao's attempt to find Obama Young was cleared, but his second header found Gohad in space. A powerful low drive from the former Valenciennes man to double Saint-Étienne's lead. Costil helpless, and this was actually the first goal for Saint-Étienne this season scored from outside the area. Antonetti brought on Alessandrini shortly thereafter, and Erding came close to turning in his wicked curling free kick. Ruffier once again vigilant in the Saint-Étienne net. The game ended in unfortunate circumstances with a red card for Mevlut Erding in the 95th minute. Referee Philip Kalt was alerted to this incident by his assistant. Look at Erding here on the left of the screen as he deliberately steps on Jean-Pascal Mignot's heel. 2-0 the final score. Ideal preparation for Lever who take on PSG next week.